exhibit, there's, there's a really great section on the, the precursors to a, the Earl Scruggs style of three-finger banjo. Because, um, you know, North Carolina banjo picking, there was, you know, two-finger style, which Earl talks about actually in the videos himself, that he used to do kind of a two-finger style with thumb and one finger. And then he added that extra finger and, you know, got the, you know, you know, you got the, the little extra bits. Yeah, I never, I never could do Scruggs style full, full on. That's, that's beyond my little range. I just, I just, I just tend to strum well. <laughs> but the, there's a little section on some of the, the folks who did a, a three finger type style that preceded the Scrug style. And one of those fellows was a, a fellow by the name of Charlie Poole. And um, a few years back, I got to meet one of, uh, one of Charlie Poole's, uh, I guess uh, it was his, his fiddler, Posey Roar's uh, great nephew, Kenny Roar, and he, he lives out in Danville, and he plays a lot of Charlie Poole's old songs, and one of them that I learned from him was one called Milwaukee Blues, and I'll play a little bit of that one for you. This one's about hobos and trains, and how the, well, the trains don't particularly care for the hobos, because, you know, no money was exchanging hands, but, uh, but I'll play this one nevertheless here with some of the, some of the little ways the hobos got around. Thank you so much, folks.